guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are going to be doing another oil painting time lapse. I'm going to show you guys how I painted this crystal stag beetle over here. Now I know I say this every time that I post an oil painting time lapse and I really do mean it. I do want to post more of these. They just take a lot of time and I have been painting. I've got multiple paintings in the process of being worked on. This one was just the first one I could get done. But anyways, let's get started on the painting. So before we get started on today's video topic, I figured I'd kind of roughly explain why I wanted to paint this specific painting. One thing that I've been doing a lot with paintings that I've been kind of wanting to do is adding a little bit of an aspect to them that is challenging for me, something that I haven't done before. So like this one, the reason that I have crystals in it, I've been wanting to do crystals, but also they're one of those things that reflects light and messing around with how light reflects and trying to figure out how to make something look very three-dimensional on a 2D surface is really interesting and very difficult. So I figured crystals would be a good challenge for that. Also I just thought the crystals would be really fun and pretty and I've just been in the mood to do a lot of more creepy crawly things, smaller type insects or paint my hermit crabs for instance. I have a few paintings that I actually have sketched out with hermit crabs involved and I'm eventually going to get to those but I really wanted to dive into this stag beetle painting. Also I figured if this came out really well and I liked it I could do an art doll of it. But anyways, let's get on to the topic of today's video, and that is art that you want to make versus art that actually sells. Now honestly, both of these could actually kind of overlap quite easily. You could end up liking something and it sells quite easily, or it could just completely be opposites to where the things that you like making just don't sell, and the things that you hate making actually sell a lot. Also, this is just my opinion and based off of things that I've experienced while trying to sell my art through the years. Now funny thing is, this painting, if I really think about it, is a good example of this. I originally wanted to do this one specific painting where you had the insect kind of pinned to the wall and it was kind of like a specimen at a museum, but with crystals and stuff on it. Pretty simple idea, but I really liked it. But while doing this, I got really excited and I was like, this could actually be a cool print. And one thing that I started thinking about was what if I did a series of prints where I could sell three at a time. Now granted, I haven't gotten into making prints or anything like this, but I was thinking about it at the time of making this painting. So this painting is the original one that I wanted to make. And then I ended up designing two others to go with it, kind of making a mini series. Well, I've been kind of trying to work on the two others while working on this one. I didn't want to film all three, but I wanted to film this one. And while working on the other two, I realized that one of them I just honestly didn't like and I didn't want to paint. I mean, one of them was a concept that I actually really liked and it's so far coming out really good. It doesn't look anything like this one. The style is a lot different and honestly it wouldn't work as a series per se. And then the third one was just I wanted to make three for some reason so I came up with another idea and I just can't get myself to dive into it anymore. I mean, I did the basic color layouts, I marked out where everything should be and I kind of did the original first layer of the painting. And and then I just can't get myself to want to do it again. But the third painting that would have been in this series, I think the only reason that I have it, and I honestly don't think I'll end up working on it at all, is because I figured three would make a cool like set of prints. So I really didn't do it because I wanted to paint it, I did it because I wanted three in a set of prints that eventually I'd work on. So that for me is a good example of trying to do art with the mindset of selling it and not fully wanting to do it. But the second painting I do like, it was part of my original concept drawings and stuff, and I will end up completing that. But it's just kind of a personal project. Now normally I don't like talking about selling things, that's really not my main focus when it comes to my art, especially my paintings. They've never been anything I've even sold before, but I do want to work on getting prints out. So because of that, my mindset kind of shifted a little bit and I needed to correct that. 
Now the reason I needed to correct that is because even though money can be a really big motivator, for my painting and my art it really isn't. I've discovered that if I want to make something, I enjoy making it. If I'm trying to make it to sell, if I'm trying to mass produce something, it is a nightmare. It's not fun during the whole process. I just don't want to do it. And I know right now especially people are struggling and they don't know where their next paycheck is going to be. And being self-employed, I know that feeling a lot. I go through this monthly because I never know if I'm actually going to make any money. And because of that, you can really easily convince yourself that you want to make something when honestly you only want to make something because you're worried about your next paycheck and you want to get some money in the bank. So it can really be hard. I have to sit myself down a lot and really question what do I actually want to make? Because I find that a lot of the times when I make something thinking it's gonna sell and I can make some quick money, it does not go anywhere. It stays in my shop longer than anything else. And so I find this mindset does not work for me at all. I find that it's so much easier to have things sell when they come straight from my heart and there's something that I actually want to make and I feel like the people that want to collect my things feel that as well. And it can be really hard to not fall into that mindset and try and just make money from your art because honestly it's really fun making money from your art. To be honest, it's really nice having something sell, but the real fun part is seeing how excited everyone gets when they buy something. No matter how much money I'm making from it, it never really makes me as happy as seeing someone else enjoying my art. Now one thing that I really like and I think is very cool about making and selling art is that almost every artist will find their specific crowd of people that want to buy from them. And that's because art is very subjective and can be different for so many different people. Art really isn't this mass-produced thing. There is fake slash mass produced art that you can get at stores that are just like okay here's a picture of something and we make a bajillion of them and sell them and there's people that will like that stuff but people that want actual like real art from artists they want something that speaks to them. And I just absolutely love that. I love the idea of making something from the heart, something that means a lot to me and then someone finding it and it speaks to them and it brings out emotions and it's just a weird connection that artists get with their collectors. And people that make mass-produced things I don't think they get, especially nowadays because most mass-produced things come from big companies. There's something very human and real and strange about art and collecting it and selling it and I just think it's really kind of interesting and cool. Sorry, I'm geeking out a little bit. I've said this before, I like strange ideas and concepts and I just think it's really interesting to see people that don't know each other like bonding over something that one person makes that was from their mind and their soul and okay, I'll get, I'll stop. So I'm really glad that I decided to not make this painting part of a three-part series. I feel like it speaks so much better on its own instead of having other paintings to go with it. Now again, I do have that second painting, but I'm going to make it a piece on itself, so it's probably going to be in a different style and all that. But yeah, looking back at what I originally thought would be a good idea, I feel like this painting would have kind of just fell to the background and wouldn't have been so interesting looking if I had the other two paintings with it. Okay guys, and that is my time lapse of me painting my crystal stag beetle. I had so much fun with this painting. I know I want to do more of this, but I don't want to be constrained to making it a series. I kind of want them to be their own individual pieces. And I know right now is very tough for a lot of people. It's scary. Um, we don't know where things are going right now. And I have honestly been struggling to get my videos out there, but they do help me deal with it because it keeps me busy. And I do know that they help other people keep themselves busy by watching them. So I'm going to do my best to keep posting my videos and hopefully I can get some more oil painting done. But I've just, I've been struggling to just get more stuff done. And I think it's just because everything going around is clouding my mind 
mind and it's it's just a tough time for everyone so I hope everyone is doing as best they can I hope you guys are having a wonderful day um, despite everything that's going on and you've enjoyed today's video thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys next time bye